What's up guys? Figured I would talk about my first six months with my Land Hero Chinese mini skid. Um, this is the Land Hero like BCY380 or something like that. It is the two pump hydraulic system. Um, it had the Rado, Rado 739. I replaced it with a Predator 670 at five hours. Um, I got another video about that that you can watch at the link above. Um, had a problem with the other motor at about five hours and decided that instead of trying to mess around and diagnose it, I needed the thing and the cheapest, well, not the cheapest, but the quickest way to getting it back up and running was to replace the motor. So I did that. Uh, it took me a couple days. It wasn't that hard. Um, and again, there's another video on that if you're interested in it. Um, let's see. So I've taken, as you can see, I took the hood off because I was afraid the thing would get hot. This design with a muffler under the hood is probably pretty bad. Um, but I don't know, it seemed pretty simple to just take the hood off of it. And so I've, I took it off to replace the motor and I've just left it off. Uh, same thing with the back cover. Um, didn't really seem necessary to me. There's a fair amount of dirt and stuff in there just from like it getting kicked up or Sometimes it'll get scraped up on this thing and then I'll flip it up in there by accident. So I need to clean that out, but no big deal there. Um, I will say like almost every single Zerk fitting on this thing, as you can see here, has broken. Um, I have replaced a bunch of them. I need to go back and replace some of those. Um, I don't grease the thing every time I use it because I don't honestly use it that often. It has, let's see, what's it got on it? 17.9 hours uh, my temperature gauge has never worked um, but I've never really had a problem with it either uh, I do have a fan in here on a switch um, I did do the electric fuel pump also I put it right there I wanted it down low so it's prime so yeah I've replaced like every every grease circle on the thing uh, like I said fuel pump um, I did put an accessory power panel in here to run uh, the fan off of separately and be able to add other stuff later if I want to. I, I replaced the battery with a 51R interstate battery. That was a pain. Got another video on that too. Um, I also just added a battery tender hookup to this thing, which I would highly recommend because you don't want to change a battery in this thing. It's a pain. Um, I have had some issues with the tracks coming off, but I've pretty much figured out how to get them back on without doing anything. I just basically tilt the bucket and raise the front of the machine and then just run the tracks. Uh, so it just kind of puts everything back in line. Uh, it releases the idler pulleys, like they don't run on the track when you do it like that. So they, cut, they, put, they go back on pretty easy. Um, so that's been my trick for that. Um, but otherwise, I mean, no, I guess having to replace the engine is kind of a major issue, but this thing's awesome. It, it you know, does so much stuff. Um, pulls bushes out of the ground, no problem. Um, I can use it to move around. You know, I've cleaned out a bunch of brush from my yard and found like a bush hog back there and some other stuff and was able to just take this thing and pick it up. And uh, I've got a fork attachment for it right there that I just clamp on the bucket, um, take that and you can pick up, I mean, I'm picking up two or three railroad ties at a time. Um, can put, you know, pick up a lot of stuff with those forks. Um, they're awesome. Um, I've got a grapple bucket that I also use that you can use to clean up yard debris and stuff like that. Um, so this is like one of the most useful things I've ever bought. This thing is awesome. Um, I mean, they're not for everybody. If you can't work on stuff, it's probably not for you. Um, but I think I paid 5,300 out the door at auction for it, um, which by like, that was in, I think, February of 24. And now it's September of 24. So I think they've coming down in price a little bit, but, um, I don't care. This thing's, I I've gotten way more use out of it than that. You know, if I had to rent one of these things, you'd be out like a grand a week and I've had it for six months and, um, I'm, I had a, you know, been able to do a ton of projects with it, um, cleaning up my yard right now. The guy that lived here before me basically used this area as like a landfill and I'm able to just kind of sc scoop stuff up, move it around, 
clean it out. Um, so, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Land Hero, I think BCY380. Uh, this thing is awesome. Thanks, y'all.